What up guys, it's your boy Fix It Daniel, and we are back working on the cars today. We are going to be replacing the Cadillac converter on my 2006 Cadillac STS. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do and how we're gonna replace this and tell you why we are replacing it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please go down and like and subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notifications so you can see all the videos that I bring up. But today we're gonna to be working on our 2006 Cadillac STS. I have to replace the driver's side Cadillac converter because I got a code. I got a P0, um, I think a 034. So um, it'll be right here. This is the actual code. So. Um, I actually got that code and here's the picture. So um, basically um, the Cadillac converter is bad. So it's not my sensor, it's my Cadillac converter because I've already replaced both um, upstream sensors. So the sensors is good. I've actually checked it and made sure it's just the Cadillac converter seems to be bad. That's the only thing. But we need to replace it because it's causing some issues. It's actually causing some running issues. It's running kind of rough. It's not performing very well. It's almost like in a mild limp mode. I still have full power, but it's kind of a mildly limp mode. You could feel the performance is just not there. But also um, with the Cadillac converter not exactly being 100%, um, you also feel a little bit in the transmission, the shifts and stuff like that. It's very interesting to see how Calyx converters can actually mess not only just engine performance, but many other things. And we don't want to let it go because obviously if you leave it, leave it alone for too long, it's going to mess up something else. And we don't want that. So today we are going to be replacing it. So without further ado, let me show so you. Here's the part fresh from Amazon. It's just a Plano uh, aftermarket. Uh, Cadillac converter O2 sensor goes up there on the top of the motor is bottom so pretty much this is what we're going to be installing and also it's very interesting that we we're installing this at the perfect time because one of my one of your one of my youtubers by the name of black mask just emailed me I think today um, he emailed me saying hey you know can you please show me more about how to uninstall and um, the upstreams because he has something he needs to work on his vehicle. So perfect timing, Black Mask. I am going to um, be showing you a little more in detail. I'm gonna do the best I can to show a little more in detail because he said I did not uh, show too much detail because he really wanted to know how to get it all apart. So in that part, we will show you how to uh, get it off in detail so that way you can do it on your vehicle. So without further ado, let's get this thing on jack stands and get it all set and ready to go. Okay guys, so we got the car securely on jack stands. Now I always take these off because I have um, the check engine light. So while we're in the process of we even getting started, we take these off because we're always, we were messing with the um, O2 sensors. But in the time frame from the time that we start this and finish this, there'll be plenty of time to reset the whole entire system. So I like doing that just to make sure that we are getting all the uh, power out of all the capacitors so that way we have no issues once we get this thing all started back up. So what I like to do is jump this out and I will show you, I show you every time, but for people who have never seen it before, I like to show it to them. So set this to the side, make sure this doesn't touch. Take off the negative and positive. And this trick always clears the power out of the capacitor so that way you have no codes or any other codes. Um, I do this sometimes on a regular too just to give the car a good fixing. So put a rag between the two so it doesn't jump them out. Pull this back like so. And then we'll cover it so we don't touch it. Cover it like that. Make sure that's not touching. Boom, we're good to go. So we get these covers off here, both of them, because we're gonna need them both off. Set them to the side. 
Now both covers are off. Now we'll start working on getting the cowl off. All right guys, so we're back. So now we're gonna take this cowl off. I'm gonna pop these little clips here. These are for the windshield wipers. Pop these clips off, send them to the side. All right, now we're gonna take these off for 15. Twist them off like so. Really easy to get off. We're gonna pop them. off like that same thing here try not to bust your windshield while you're doing it it's a little trickier but if you get under there, there you go. Pop them off. Grab the nuts into the side. And then we can work on getting this out. There's a, there's a little rivet piece right here that you want to pop up. Pop it up like so. Pull this out. That loosens that. And this is ready to come up. Then we gotta go on this side to get the little screws out. So let me go get my socket wrench real quick. See if I got the right one. Pull these up. So these are these little bolts right here. So I'm using a, uh, a 932. And then we got one right here, so there's three of them. All right, I'm just simply pull it up. You get one in, you can just do the rest. Pull it out. Go on the other side. Pull it out like so, and it all just comes up. Try not to lose my pieces. Sit you, sit you down real quick. So now we got that out. So you have to get this whole entire cow out because you have to get 
this uh, motor off. So this is the window motor that works the windshield, and then then you can get back there to your um, to the O2 sensor. So let me grab my tool again. sure I got the right tool which I can do. So I'm using a 3 8 10. So 3 8 10 right here, 3 8 10 right there. I'm gonna get this out. Let's see. Of a tight spot, so you're gonna have to loosen it with the wrench, and then take the take the um, the end off, and then twist it with your hand, and it'll, it should come right up. So you just keep twisting until you get it kind of loose. You'll know. Yep, it's off. One more right there. Take this thing off. Get on there, twist it by hand. If you have like a electric tool or an air tool, this will make it go faster, but it's not a big deal. It's not that super tight on there. All right. So now that we got this loose, I'm going to show you that there is there's a plug right here. So you don't want to go ripping it up. Kind of slightly just pick it up. Make sure all your bolts are loose. And just kind of slide it up. And then turn it so you can get to your little harness thing. Pull it off. Get it out your way. And then now, with everything out of the way, you can get access to your O2 sensors. It's on this little clip. It's actually right back here. And now you can see it, it's in my hand. There's a little bracket piece that it's sitting on. It's like a little, little 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 bracket L bracket sitting off of it with two holes. It's that's what it sits in to hold it in place, keep it from vibrating loose or anything like that. So, as you see, it's that right there. Now all you gotta do is unclip it. So let me set it down for a sec so I can unclip it. So there's a yellow tab. That you have to pull up like a security tab. Sorry, I can't. Like, see, there's a yellow tab right here. You have to squeeze and lift. And then, once you get that lifted, there's a tab in the center of that yellow piece. All you have to do, squeeze, and then separate. You hear a little snap pop, and you see, it is off. There's, there's the end. This is the O2 sensor. And here's the harness. Here's the harness piece right there. So now what we need to do, we gotta get this harness off. It's a little bracket piece, a little bracket piece right here, this little nut. Get that nut off, get this out the way, get this heat shield off, and then we get access to the catalytic converter. Simple. All right guys, so we're back. Got this loosened, this little nut for the 
housing piece. Let's get this nut off. So as you see, getting this nut off here, as soon as it comes off, it's a big long one, so it takes a little bit for twisting. And it's off, so to the side. And now we can move this out the way. Usually what I could do is just push it to the side, just get it out the way so you can see that. And then here is the heat shield. I only keep one nut on. Normally it's like like three. There's usually one here, and then it's one under this little foamy thing, and then there's one down. But one holds on perfectly fine. I just kind of keep it snug. I don't, I don't keep it like super tight. Now it may be tight. It may tighten up with uh with a little bit of heat, but it's not super tight. I just keep it snug just so it doesn't vibrate. So let me get my tool and get that off and then we'll be good. Okay guys, so we're back. We got our 3 8 10 again. We're just gonna get down here. Like I said, I only have one, so I'm not worried about it. I got it just super snug, that's it. I don't need it super tight because it's a pain in the butt to get this off every time you have to put it on and take it off. It's not gonna harm anything with just one. So, get this on there nice and good. Let me get my tool, give it a little bit more of a loosen. Like so. Let me just take her hand, get it off. It's a pain because it's the only thing holding this heat shield up. So it's, it, it is a little bit of a struggle. Um, so just be mindful of that. If you want to do it this way, that's e it's easier. But yeah, yet you'll be struggling sometimes to get it back on. But I'd rather deal with one than deal with two. It's way more difficult. All right. So now that we got this off, we are going to kick this to the side. You don't have to take it out. And people will think you gotta take it out. You don't have to take it out. You see, I just kicked it to the kicked it to the back. Just kick it to the back as best you can. Get it hanging on something, and then look. Now we got access to the manifold. There's our O2 sensor. We just just to connect it. There's the bolts that's holding on the Cadillac converter. Now we gotta do now is just take them off. So now we got full access. We got plenty of room to get to it down there and up here. So let's go ahead and get on there and let's get this loosened so we can get this off. Okay guys, okay guys, so we're back. Now we're gonna get these, um, the catalytic converter off. So I got a, a 15, I think if you could see a 15 uh, millimeter deep socket. We're just gonna go ahead and just try and loosen it, see what we get. All right, there's one. And there's the other one. So now, let's see if we can get this off by hand. All right, so here's one. Set this to the side. And let's see if we can get to the other one. Pretty loose. All right, and I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. So it's that one nut that's right there. I have to get off. So let me see if I can get it from down below. Let's see if you guys can see what I'm seeing. All right, let me go down. Yep. All right, let me go down there and get it. All right, it's a little tight. Okay guys, so we're back. 
So now we got the bolts off here and here. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you. I needed my hands. I need both hands to get that out of there, but it's out. Um, the, the Cadillac converter is still down there. We're going to go down to the bottom and I'll show you guys how I get that out. But here's the top nut. Here's the top gasket that was on here. Now, why is it orange? Is because I had put some um, exhaust gasket sealer around this. This is metal, but I wanted it to have a nice, good, firm uh, tightness. So I may apply some more on here just for just for good measure. But it's actually holding up pretty well because before I was blowing these out. But this is all metal, so this is works pretty good. I may not because um, it is kind of messy when I was putting it back on here. So I might just leave it where it is. It's got a pretty good sealant on there anyway, so uh, we'll see what we can do. But right now, let us get down, down there and take off the Cadillac converter. Okay guys, so now we're under. We're going to get this clamp off. The Cadillac converter is here and uh, we're just gonna get it off. This is the downstream O2 sensor, if you guys are wondering. There's two, two on each side. This is downstream, the other one's upstream. So we're just gonna get this off. It's 15 millimeters, let's get them off. Well, I guess I probably could have done shorter shorties. Yeah. Like that. All right, we're gonna take our wrench. out the way and here comes the catalytic converter so we just push this out grab our grab our stuff tight there we go and boom everything is out oh. all right let me show you all right here it is it's all out. Let's see if we can go fit this up and hopefully this fits our piece. All right, so. Here's the old one. And oh, that's the only way to find out if it fits. Looks a little longer, but we'll see if this fits up. So uh, let's uh, give it a try and see what happens. All right, guys, so now we're going to get this thing off. All right, so I got my normal O2 sensor puller. It's going to just get this thing off. Off. All right, we'll uh, get that on the other one and then we'll see if we can get it installed. Okay guys, we're back. So it's going to fit. I actually checked it. It's actually going to line up perfectly. It's not actually not much. I don't know why it's longer on that one. It seems like a shorter. This is shorter. Um, the new Cadillac converter, but it's actually going to fit. So. I'm not stressing it, I'm just gonna roll with it. So, let's get this thing lined up right before I bolt the bottom. So. Yeah, right there. Right there. All right, so we're gonna put, we're gonna put the bottom bolts on so that way this will hold in place. Otherwise we'll be fighting with it, so. We put the donut back since this one doesn't have a donut holder ring, but this one does. So we will just sit it in there and then we'll just get it all lined up and then we will uh, we'll bolt it up. So let's get our bolts back in there. We're gonna use it as a holder because um, it is kind of loose here. So let's we'll see how great I'm gonna do this.
All right. Now we should be good. Oh yeah, now we're good. Okay, so now we're gonna go up top and we're going to try to get this pipe lined up so we can get the bolts in and then we should be good. All right guys, so we are all bolted and done. Um, we got the, here is the, I don't know if you could see it, there it is. There is the O2 sensor, I haven't buttoned it up yet. As you see, it's, it's still, I don't know if you could see that with the light, it's still loose. But we got everything bolted up, up, down, and even on the catalytic converter down there. So now, um, sorry, I couldn't, I, I tried my best to see if I could show it to you and I just cannot do it. Um, it's just really tight in there. Um, I could try and explain what I had to do. Uh, I basically, so I'll see if I can try to explain it. So basically you start by getting the gasket in. So I basically had the bolt come from up under and then, um, I had like a long shaft, um, like, um, extension holding on the bottom holding the bottom nut of this then get the screws started on top did that on one side then i did that on on this side on this side down here this one i i'd actually had the jack i had another jack pushing up on the bottom of this nut on, on this stud and nut on the bottom and then put the nut in and then once i finally get get it started get it tight that's pretty much it and then i went back down there and got the Cadillac converter tight to the other pipe. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, now we are good. Now we can go ahead and um, re-hook this back up. So we're gonna go ahead and hook back up the O2 sensor so we are good. And we might get this going. I think I got it. it feels like I got it, yep. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. And now, my O2 sensor, you just reconnect it. I'm sorry, I know you can't see it. My hand's in the way. I'm trying to pull it up. But now, the O2 sensor right there is now connected back to the sensor line. And then basically, all you have to do is feel your way. There's two holes on this little bracket. You just get it lined up. Find the second hole. Um, it's, it's really not too bad. It's uh, up and then down, so up and down setting. You just gotta feel your way. There's there's really no no special way. You just gotta feel your way in there, and then it'll go once you get it all lined up. And then once you get it lined up, you just push. And I'm having a struggling time getting to it. Hang on, that's one hole. It's two holes. So there. Yep, got it. It's in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this back bolted up, bolt up, and then we'll be good. Okay, guys. So we're back. So what I like to do is before we start buttoning all this up, I like to at least make sure it sounds good and runs because if not, then you could fix it before you start buttoning it up because you don't want it to sound all poppy, 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 and then it'll it'll uh, doesn't run. So what we're going to do is we're going to reattach the battery leads so we can figure out if this is going to if this we we are success because if we're not, then we need to go back and fix it. So while we already got it torn apart, let's get it fixed. So let's put this back on. So we're going to put the negative back on. All right, positives next. I have to have my keys handy because my alarm goes off when I put this positive back on. So we're going to put this positive back on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it didn't do it this time. Okay, cool. No, sometimes it goes off. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So, cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to test it. 
start it up and make sure it sounds good before we finish. Before we do that, let's grab all our tools, get them all out of the way so they don't fall. And let's, everything looks good and bolted. We can bolt that later. We're just gonna do a quick start just to see how it sounds before we conclude it being done. And then we'll go from there. So let's give it a good start. All right, sounds good. Cool. I always like doing a quick start before you before you button all this up because if it's if it's not sealed right, then it's definitely going to you're gonna have to get back in there and do what you need to do. So we're all good. It sounds good. So now we can continue getting our bolts and stuff back in. So let's grab. All right, so we're gonna we're going to put this back on. See if I can do this one-handed. So get this in the hole and get that up. And no, I cannot. All right, we're gonna uh, put this down. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're all good. We're gonna button this back up. I'm not gonna bore you with this. I showed you how to take it off. Now just put reverse and put it back on. So time lapse mode. Alright guys, and just like that we are back. We got the the cow, the wiper, the motor, everything all back on, batteries connected. Everything is back looking good where it's supposed to be. Now all we gotta do is finish getting this off the jack stands and put the tire back on and then we'll be good. So let's get that back on there. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done. Everything is all back together. Everything is good. Let's see if this car will start, because the car won't start unless the check engine lights off, so let's give it a try. All right, and there we have it. It is all nice and running. No popping noises, no leaks. Normally you would hear that, that little pop, 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 pop right off the bat, but it is completely done. Looking really, 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 really good. Guys, we are good to go. All right, guys, so we are all done. Everything is running really, really good. It's nice and smooth, and there's uh, no more like limp feeling or something. It's really good, smooth acceleration, smooth power. Everything is running really good. So guys, we're all done. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all your love and support. If you guys have not followed me, please go down, follow me, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. And Black uh, Mask, let me know what you think of uh, the, um, everything I did for. Because I also not only did it for me, because I needed to get the car running, but you asked me right at the time I was about to do this video, and I kind of went a little bit more in depth. So let me know what you think, Black Mask. Let me know in the comments if I did good and giving you more of a detail for the O2 sensors because I tried my best to do it as best as I could. I tried my best to do the exhaust hookup, but I need both hands. So I'm truly sorry if I if, if you need more than that, but I did my best with the O2 sensors. That's what you asked for. So let me know in the comments what you think of them. But guys, that is it. I thank you very much for all the love and support. And if you guys are not following me, please follow me at Instagram. It's right there. Um, I'll put uh, all of the down in the description in the comments. I'll put the uh, link for the Cadillac converter if you need it for your car. Um, and then um, that way you know where to go get it from. Um, and then you can kind of go from there. But guys, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next fix. Peace.